Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I continue my work on Venture Star, especially its aerodynamic problems coming back down below 20 kilometers in altitude in particular. And it just doesn't have enough pitch authority is what I found. Its uh, stability is fine, uh, it isn't using too much RCS during re-entry anymore, so it's the location of its center mass and center lift are not things we want to change. Unfortunately, we're going to have to change them because we want to add more pitch control because it just sort of nose, noses down into the water or into the land if we actually get to land uh, at the end because uh, it's got a lot of inertia, uh, basically. It's more or less a dart. So we want to change that. And the nice thing would be to put canards on the front because the canards will be really far away from the center of mass after its fuel depletes because after its fuel depletes, most of the mass is, well, not most of the mass, but a lot of the mass is contributed by the engines. Most of the mass is contributed by the bulky part of the body back here. So yeah, all overall, the center mass is all the way back here. So if you add canards in the front, uh, then that'd be great because they'll have a lot of pitch control. But that will also bring the center of lift forward and we've already had trouble with the center of lift being too far forward and causing the thing to be imbalanced. So I'm going with the body flap idea. In fact, if you see a lot of the lifting body aircraft, you'll see this sort of arrangement with uh, body flaps, a uh, row back at the bottom and also a row at the top. It's important to recall that for the space shuttle, the body flap doesn't do a whole lot. Because when you think about it, if you deflect these bottom ones, and they they would only deflect downwards because if they deflect upwards, they're blocked by the body anyway. I mean, th there'll be some aerodynamic effect because there's some attachment uh, with the air, and so the air would p potentially be deflected upward like that. But mainly, their control is if they get deflected downward, and in that case, that would just cause it to nose down. And really, we need stuff to help it nose up. So that's why we have the upper ones there. I've also added these. I've already tried it with just the these outboard ones and it was encouraging but it didn't survive. So it was encouraging but it didn't survive. So we clearly needed more and that's why I've put these and I have not tested it with these yet. That's what we are going to watch together. And with those there I'm trying to not use the wing all moving feature. Uh, it was obvious to me that this would need a lot of control authority, which is why I made the wings all moving in the first place, but it seems like trying to move the entire wings just causes it to go out of control, which, you know, the wings can very easily stall when you do that. So I've decided to, we'll maybe use them a little, but we'll be sparing. Now, because we're adding a lot of extra mass with these control surfaces back here, uh, the, it's probably about two tons. And that's a lot when you think about the dry mass of Venture Star. Uh, I've reduced the mass strength multiplier on the wings a bit. And actually, we need to... Uh, I, I probably want that to be 0.9. I don't want to go too far with that. Um, yeah, and so we have 0.7 on these outboard ones as well, and these are 0.7. Uh, but probably I'm going to also reduce the payload capacity. So we're at 20 tons right now, but I'm going to bring that down to 18. That's probably overdoing it, but it's better to have more fuel than less. So we want to actually be able to test re-entry and we'll worry about the payload later. Okay, so that is the idea. We'll see how this works. I have no idea whether it's gonna work or not. But again, with just the outboard ones, it was encouraging. Uh, basically, I was able to control it until we splashed into the water. The problem was being able to control it only was possible if I stayed. I couldn't pull up, basically. It wasn't wiggling all over the place. It wasn't flopping, you know, it wasn't stalling out or anything. But it was nose down into the water. Uh, all the way through re-entry, it was controllable. It's just that we couldn't pull up. So, yeah. We need to change that. We will see if that is possible. Um, this is actually not the uncrewed version, so maybe maybe I should use that. Um, let's go with this version first. Uh, so this is the crewed version. 
it'll increase the stakes. Um, the uncrewed version looks a bit different, it's bulkier, but I don't think it has any fundamental differences. I didn't change the mass or anything like that, so I think we can use this one. Launch can be handled by KOS. Reentry still can't. I've tried to tweak the reentry script, but it still doesn't work. So you can't really do that. But at least it can handle launch. Okay, up we go. Okay, we are past the speed of sound. As long as we end up with more than 200 meters per second, we should be able to do everything. Alright, everything looking nominal at this stage, where the engines thrall down. We don't have dramatic staging moments with SSTOs, so I don't know what to say otherwise. Okay, 233 meters per second left. All right. Let's get the payload into a more decent orbit though. Okay, well, we'll keep it there. Let me just release the payload. Eighteen tons out. Leaving us with 119 tons right now. And I will also start the fuel cell. And we will wait today. Okay, at this point I'm gonna quick save. PS re-entry. And we are ready to go. Let's get our deorbit burn. We uh, ignited the engines at 134 degrees east. And we'll go to a zero degree periapsis. Okay, well, close enough. So I saved before doing the retro burn just in case you want to pick a different retro burn point later on. Okay, we are oriented properly. I'm going to bring out the wing controls so that we can use them for pitch authority in case we need them. Uh, right now, those do pitch and roll, and these just do pitch. And we will see how that works out for us. Of course, uh, for the most part, it's got to be RCS until we get to much lower levels. We're actually using a bunch of pitch up now because we've moved the center of lift too far back. Maybe uh, a couple of little small canards up front might be okay because we've got all this stuff going on in the back. Well, as it's sort of maxing out there, I'll free up the wings a bit. The fact that we've ended up making it more nose heavy and causing it to require more pitch up uh, might be a sort of ironic, <laughs> unintentional consequence of putting these in the back. We will see how that shapes up, but that's only, right now we're in the thin part of the atmosphere, so they're not very effective. So it's a little bit tough to say whether this is actually detrimental at the moment and we must put canards, or whether it'll be all right because in the lower part of the atmosphere we're going to have more air over them and they'll have more control. So still not sure about that. Uh, certainly needing so much pitch up uh, with the RCS thrusters right now isn't great. Not a great sign of our eventual balance, but we'll see. Okay, getting into the heat effects over Mexico right now. 
Yeah, it's getting a second bout of lift here. Well, as far as having a trajectory to Florida is concerned, we're not too far off. At the moment, we are right here. And we've still got some speed here that we are bleeding off. It's just all a matter of keeping control, and we'll see how that goes. I'll get far up as well for our Mach number. Okay, well, still pretty high over Florida here. We can, in fact, see the cape there, and we're definitely not going to make it. So if we do the quick load... We would want to start the retroburn a little bit earlier than 134 degrees east. Let us remember that. We'll see how many degrees further we go, and then we'll just subtract that out, and we will be able to get that a little bit closer. But this thing has to fly first. I mean, it has to actually be able to land on a runway after all. So we're, we're a bit off from that right now still. We will see. Okay, well, we are approaching 45 kilometers in altitude. We are at Kerbin orbital speeds now. Well, it's surface speed, but anyway. And we have to look to pitching down soon. You can see that the pitch authority is getting maxed out. So, we got to give that a go. Hoping that it won't go out of control when we do that. <laughs> Important. And so it wiggles a bit and hopefully dampens out is what we want. Okay, well, far just read nominal there. Brief, brief bouts of nominality. As it still wiggles and tries to dampen. Well, it's not really dampening out very well right now. Eventually, if Smart ASS has too much trouble with that, Atmospheric Autopilot can be used. Below Mach 3, I'll switch it to Atmospheric Autopilot. Obviously, the wiggling is getting a little bit much. Okay, Atmospheric Autopilot. Well, this is the benefit of Atmospheric Autopilot, the fact that it doesn't wiggle. But, do we have enough pitch authority is the question now. Oh, we don't want to increase our vertical speed just yet. We can see we're using about 60% right now. We don't want to lose too much speed, otherwise we'll stall. We have to keep going down. Big problem with this is the sheer amount of drag it has, right? It's not shaped like an airplane. So it has a lot of drag going in. Uh, we're getting maxed out on pitch even though we're like this. <laughs> but the vertical speed is picking up, so maybe... I can moderate that a little bit. Might want to stay... going closer to the speed of sound. Still... 20 degree pitch down is like normal for the shuttle, but... So a whole matter of pulling out of that is the issue. Okay, trying to pull up here. Who knows what the stall speed of this is. We're not going to have any sort of time to like do a traffic pattern around the air uh, the airstrip or anything like that. We're not going to approach the runway in any halfway decent way. Look at all the pitch we need just to stay going down. But we managed to splash down. We Did we kill the bottom? No, uh, we even kept the bottom control surfaces. Minor miracle. So progress, progress. Um, we are 13 degrees away from the KSC. So we should start the retro burn 13 degrees ahead of time. And why don't we just load up the save and try that? But my faith that, I mean, this was just basically a dart. 
I, I don't even know if I could turn this to land at the runway. <laughs> so, um, the ability to control its descent is minimal to none. But we survived this time, so I guess we'll try it. So, uh, we're gonna load the many things in this one, Max, Shuttle. But we want this one. Okay, here we go again. And as usual, when you load a quick save like that, the clouds are probably messed up. But we are not suborbital yet. And 13 degrees means uh, we'll start at 121 degrees east. And try to keep everything else the same, but you can see the weird cloud issue that happens. Uh, we're a little bit late because it couldn't turn quickly enough. Uh, maybe I can compensate by going a little bit lower, or maybe pitching up more, but here we go. Alright, since we started the retro burn late, I'll go to negative four on the periapsis. Alright, we are in the atmosphere and we have properly rolled around. And I'm thinking maybe we can reduce these surfaces a little bit and add small canards. I mean, it sort of busts the, the image of Venture Star, but I'm guessing that we're all on board that we want it functional more than anything else. So, yeah, uh, because we saw on the previous re-entry that it has the center mass too far forward. That's why I was using the RCS the whole time to nose up. If we just put canards, that'll solve that as long as they're the right size, of course. Uh, the other option would be to reduce the size of these. That will also help solve the problem. But uh, if we do both, uh, just the right amount, that would probably balance out the mass more. In other words, we'll take mass off of here and add it with the canard. If we just shrink these, we reduce our pitch authority, so that's not good. If we just add the canard, we add extra dry mass, which is not good, so that's why I'm thinking of doing both. But anyway, since I didn't want to relaunch, I'm just doing this with the quick save and we haven't changed anything else. Uh, we have just changed our descent location and our descent trajectory, and we will see if we can get closer to KSC. If I can land there, that's a whole other story. Yeah, I didn't really try turning before splashing down last time. Okay, nothing too surprising to report as we are over the Gulf of California and experiencing the heating effects. And we're going up a little bit. Okay, well, our attempt to get here properly has not quite worked out. I think we're too high. We're approaching Tampa Bay here, and soon we can see Cape Canaveral up front. So we're still a bit high, unfortunately. I'll just try and make sure that we have a consistent result, but uh, clearly this is still too much. I'll try and turn it once we get to lower altitude, but there's just not a whole lot of room uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right, well, and carefully start to pitch down here. And I'm reasonably sure that if I try to turn right now in an attempt to actually get to the KSC, that would not work out very well. And let me turn. Let's see if we can turn. Very, very slowly. <laughs> As expected, it's got a lot of inertia in a particular direction. 
Uh, free up all of the wing control. Hmm, it's not letting me pull up now. Come on. Oh, no. Uh, I can't pull up for some reason. It's not letting me pull up. You have speed. Oh, no. Oh, we had a little bit of pitch authority left, but for some reason, it, uh, Mr. Godpod might have been uh, confused by the fact that I ma uh, maxed out the pitch control or something. So, more work needs to be done, clearly, but we had some progress, again. Alright, anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.